All right, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel here today. I'm uh, detailing this uh, 2011 Ford Fusion, and I am clay barring. And this video is going to be uh, talking about how to clay bar, uh, why you need to clay bar, and the whole process of what is clay barring. And basically, it's a process that started, I believe, over in Japan or somewhere in Asia many years ago. And it's something that is a was a detail or secret for many years, but now it's a, you know pretty much a common thing um, throughout the uh, the detailing industry. And basically, what a clay bar is, it's a piece of clay, um, and there's different grades. There's a, a fine grade, a medium grade. Uh, basically, depending on the contamination of your surface, will determine what type of uh, grade that you want to have. I typically stick with a finer grade. I don't typically stock any um, anything more than that in my arsenal uh, simply from the fact of you know those are more aggressive clays are going to abrade the surface and if you're not polishing the car um, you're going to be marring the surface and then not being able to take that marring out if you're doing a polish then you can use a, a more aggressive clay um, but i typically stick with a finer grade clay uh, just because it, it just it's it's easier on the paint and you can clay the car um, without having to polish it now you do have to be careful when you're claying your lower rockers and, and your bottom of your doors. Um, you do have to be careful because this will pick up all that stuff, so you need to be continuously re-kneading the clay. What do I mean by re-kneading the clay? Well, basically, you take the clay bar and say, this side is dirty right here. You basically take it, push it, and then reshape a new clean section with your fingers and turn it into a new patty. Uh, because if you don't do that or you're not careful, then you potentially could put you know some scratching into the paint um, and then end up having to polish anyway. I'm going to be polishing this car, so I'm not too overly concerned about that. Um, so basically with a clay bar is you need a, a clay bar lubricant, and meaning that you need something that has lubricity. You cannot use water. Uh, water is water. Believe it or not, is actually not lubricating. Uh, uh, water is actually a solvent, uh, so water will not provide you a lubricating uh, agent. Uh, so you need some type of detail spray. What I personally recommend that you use is is those you know is a is a rinseless wash concentrate solution to where you can mix it down and, and create a clay bar lubricant, uh, which is what I use. I'll hook a link in the description, but today I'm using uh, Gary Dean's Infinite Use Detail Juice um, here in this in this spray bottle, and uh, it's a concentrated form because I'm, I've already clayed the hood of this car, the passenger side, the back, and I've already had to refill this bottle it's a 16 ounce bottle I've already this is I just refilled this just a couple minutes ago uh, because when you clay bar the vehicle you need to be um, you need to have a lot of, uh, of solution on the surface you cannot be skimpy on clay bar lubricant and the reason you can't is because if you have if you have a dry patch um, you will the, the clay bar will um, when it goes across the paint will catch and it potentially put marring into the paint because it's not lubricated so I, I'm a little bit more generous with the lubricant than I probably should be, but um, I can tell you that when I'm done claying the vehicle, I don't have to go back and remove any scuffs or any any uh, marring that I did because I wasn't um, I was too I was too uh, skimpy on the um, on, on the lubricant. So I use a lot of it, and that's the reason why I use the. Um, use something that's concentrated that I can mix because I know I'm going to be going through a lot of it. Um, there are clay bar lube, uh, there are clay bar lubes that are out there that companies sell that are ready to use in the spray bottle, but I find them redundant because um, you're going to spend you know anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars for a sixteen ounce bottle of that stuff, and you do one car, you might not even make it through the car depending on how heavily contaminated it is. But even so, even if you use the bottle and it gets you through the whole car, that bottle is probably going to be shot. Um, you're going to be out of it, and so I like to use something that, that's concentrated. So the process of clay barring is actually very, very simple. It's not complex. Um, it, it's definitely, if you haven't, haven't heard of it before, um, or you know, if you, it's something you never experienced with the vehicle, it can be uh, tricky to get used to, but once you get used to it and, and you understand what the process of clay barring is, you'll, you'll understand. And the reason you need to clay bar is because if you don't clay bar and remove all the contaminants, um, when you go apply your wax, your sealant, um, or you know even polish, you're not going to get the, 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 the same or the best results that you possibly can get if you were to um, 
if you were to clay bar the surface prior because basically there's contamination on the surface that doesn't come off in the actual washing process and traditionally most cars are going to be uh, heavily contaminated from about quarter away to halfway down the door and then all the way down to the bottom this is your contamination level um, and then same on the fender again same area and the back of the car they're going to be your highest levels of contamination um, for a vehicle because it's stuff that gets kicked up from the road brake dust that you know when you hit your brakes and you're driving the brake dust you know goes down the side of the car uh, so i don't know if the camera's going to pick this up i'm going to take my hand and rub it across the bottom here and see if you can hear the contamination oh that's picking up I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's it's very rough. I can feel all the contaminants underneath my hand. And if I come over here, I'll, I'll, I'll do this on the uh, hood, which I've clay barred. And you can see here, there's nothing. I'll even go over here to the door that I did. That squeak was my hand on the door. There's nothing, there's no contamination here on the surface. Now I really can't show you anything on camera because uh, they're, you know, the contamination, some of the contamination you can't even really see with your eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clay bar lubricant here and I'm just going to show you a small section of how to clay bar the vehicle. So again, make sure I really cover the surface well. Take your clay bar. I just, I like to take it like this in between my two fingers. Some guys make the patty a little bit bigger, um, but I have small hands, so I like to uh, have a little bit more control over the clay. Now, biggest no-no and the biggest, uh, you know, it's not a what if, it's a must, is if you drop this clay bar onto the ground, you need to throw it away immediately um, because this is ultra sticky. I mean, you put your hand into it, it's like adhesive almost, it's sticky. So anything that's on the ground, even if you're in the grass or you have, you know, it's gonna pick up anything that's on the ground. So you need to toss it immediately because uh, you're definitely gonna put scratches into the paint with what the stuff that it picks up off the ground. So you take the clay bar, put it on the surface and you rub back and forth. You don't need to apply pressure. You don't need to go in circles. Just go over the surface. And again, you know, like you see I'm constantly adding lubrication. what this is removing, it's removing all those contaminants that are on the vehicle. And again, it's not, it's an ultra fine clay bar, so is it removing everything? No, it's not. But it's removing 90% of the contamination. Some of this stuff, if I just take my nail and just catch on it just a little bit, whatever it is, it's coming right off. I believe it's tar. And because of the lubrication, I'm not, I'm not scratching it when I do that. Believe it or not, there's actually um, you can actually clay bar a vehicle with a uh, with a utility blade, like a, like a you know like a, 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 a packaging knife, like you know to, to open things. You can actually clay bar a vehicle with that. Uh, you use the lubricant and you use the knife instead of an actual clay bar. It's not something I tried. But I don't know if I'll ever try something like that. But you can see I just did about a quarter section of the door here. And there's a little bit more to go, but let me let me just show you guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But you can see all the contamination there on the clay bar. If you look at the other side, it's totally clean. So what you can do, I, you can continue going. That's that's not horrible with what's on here, but just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you what you would do to re-knead the clay, reform it, and then you start again with a clean side. You can clay glass, you can clay headlights, basically you can clay wheels, you can clay anything that is shiny or reflective or clear. See there's the bottom there, bottom rocker, you can see all that junk.
Okay. So then once you're done clay boring, you just take a, a towel and you just dry off the lubrication. You don't have to, you can let it sit and come back and, and wipe the car down. If you're going to be wiping it down with a, a spray sealant or even a sealant, you don't have to wipe it. Um, but I like to, you know, I'll typically wipe it to, to inspect my work and see, uh, see if I missed anything again. I know this clay bar is not picking up every single little piece of contamination, but it's getting 90% and it's going to make the surface smooth. Take a drying towel, just go over the surface. That's it. Surface is smooth, it's decontaminated, it's ready for polish or wax or a seal depending on what scenario you're in. So that's pretty much the process of claying and, and why you need to clay. Um, and, and it also, you'll notice depending on, it's really hard to tell on silver, but on darker colored vehicles, if you just simply, just by clay marring, you'll notice that the vehicle is more shiny because uh, you removed all the contamination because the contamination, even though you can't see it physically with your eye, most of the contamination anyway, um, it hinders the gloss um, of, of the vehicle. So as soon as you decontaminate, I mean, I can even tell a difference between what I've done in the back of the door here. It's just, it, your camera's not gonna pick it up, but the, this part's just more reflective uh, because that contamination is gone. So um, that's the process of clay barring. You just do the whole, whole process around the entire vehicle. Again, personal recommendation, get a clay lubrication that you can dilute um, because you're gonna go through a lot of it and you should be going through a lot of it because um, like I said, it's it's better to be you know it's better to be uh, safer when doing this versus uh, you know trying to skimp out on product. And I think that's the biggest I think that's the biggest thing in the you know detailing world is is you know guys get so wrapped up in you know you know product conference product conservation and I'm not saying you know go crazy with products and waste products, but there's certain times where certain whatever is certain things that you're doing. Um, you know, more is better, and then there's certain th times when you're doing something less is better. Like if you're cleaning seats or cleaning carpets, uh, less product is better. The less wet you have to make the surface, you know, on the fabric, you know, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be clean better, and it's also gonna dry properly. If you soak down a, a seat or a carpet, it's never gonna dry right. It's gonna take days for it to dry. But like you know, certain areas, this cleaning wheels, cleaning uh, bugs. Know, um, you know, basically, you know, anything where you need, you know, a little extra aggression, agitation, you can't be too uh, worried about how much product you are using. And as a, as a de someone who has a detailing business, um, you know, they're going to buy products that are dilutable. Um, they're not going to buy ready to use products. They are, they will be having uh, dilutable products. They'll be buying stuff in bulk concentrate uh, because they know that, you know, they can, one, they can get the concentrate cheaper. And number two is they can mix their own ratios. If they need more aggression, they can add more product. If they need less aggression, they take away product. Um, and with the cost of it, they're they're you know they're not thinking really you know too far into it when they're using the product. How much am I using? How much am I saving? Because they're buying in the concentrate and they're getting at such a good price. So obviously, as a, as someone who just cleans their own vehicles on the side uh, or you know washes their car once a week, twice a week, once a month. You know, ready to use products would be uh, would not be a bad idea. But when it comes to clay bar lubrication, um, you know, I, I definitely can't recommend enough that you uh, that you get product that you can dilute. Um, that way, you don't have to worry about it and, and spend extra money. Um, you know, buying buying a, a lubricate a lubricant product and, and end up having to you know buy two bottles of it. For it versus if you know you can use something like this. I mean, I put I think quarter of an ounce is what it dilutes to for 16 ounces, I believe. So. I used a half an ounce for two 16 ounce bottles, half an ounce of the concentrate product. Um, and they come, and most of them come in 16 ounce bottles, the concentrate. So, anyways, before I go on too much longer, appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions, please, you know, feel free to put them in the comments. Be more than happy to help you guys out. Talk to you soon.